Hi, I'm Crypto Lou and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through how to connect up your Ledger Nano S with my Ether wallet. If you like this video today, then please give me a thumbs up as it really helps me to grow my channel and understand what kind of content you like and enjoy. And the reason why you want to connect up these two different types of technologies is that my Ether wallet actually has more features. It supports the likes of ERC20 tokens and you can send your tokens connecting up these two devices. It makes it more secure when you do use my Ether wallet with the Ledger NOS as you don't want to store your private keys on a computer as you may get hacked. Whereas with the Ledger Nano S, your private key is actually inside the device and it never actually leaves. So as you can see from the Ledger Nano S site, you actually have um, the integration with my Ether wallet. So what I'm going to do is take us to my Ether wallet now. Now one thing to point out with regards to my Ether wallet, there are a lot of phishing sites that, are, that do try and associate themselves with my Ether wallet just by misspelling in the address bar. So please ensure that once you are on me, my Ether wallet, you do need to bookmark it. Ensure that you are always going to the correct address every single time because there are a lot of hackers out there that are trying to steal your money. So the first thing you want to do is you want to connect up your Ledger Nano S and make sure that you go through and you unlock your device. Once it's connected, you then need to go to Ethereum and then go into your settings. Once you're in your settings, you then need to go to browser support. So once you're in browser support, you need to ensure that you select yes at this stage. This basically means that you can go through and you can use my Ether wallet. But the Ledger Nano S apps will actually stop working. So if you want to use the app again, you need to ensure that you go through and you disable it again by clicking on to no. But for the moment, we need to select yes. Once you've selected yes, you then need to click on to send Ether and tokens. Then what you need to do is it's asking you how you want to access your wallet and we're using a Ledger wallet. So once we've done that, we then just simply click on to connect to Ledger wallet. So you don't need to touch any of the top settings here unless you are using Ethereum Classic. It's slightly more advanced feature. I'm not gonna take you through that process today and make sure that you're not using this tutorial as your only means of education of how to actually go through and do so. What we then need to do is we need to select an address. So these are all your current addresses at the moment. If you do need more addresses, you can, can click on to more addresses also. So I'm gonna click the top one here and then I'm gonna select unlock your wallet. It will then come up and show you the same kind of screens that you will see using my Ether wallet. Now I have actually done a full tutorial and review of my Ether wallet and what I'll do is I'll put it in the top right hand corner now so if you do want to take a look then please do so. However this is a brief overview of how you go through and connect the two together. What I'll later be doing is creating a further tutorial of how you actually go through, load up your tokens and how you can send your tokens from this um, my Ether wallet and using the Ledger Nano S as well. You can also go through and you can um, send different types. So if you had different types of tokens in here, the different tokens would be available from this drop down also. The only difference when you are connecting up your Ledger Nona S is that you would have an extra step when you are going through and sending your Ether and your tokens. And that would just be a confirmation on the device asking you to confirm the transaction. And if you ever want to go through and check how much Ethereum that you have, you can use Etherscan. So what you're doing it there is you're essentially just copying in your address, not your private address, but your public address. So you're copying your public address into there. You can then go through, paste it in, and see how much you actually have in terms of your account balance without going through and exposing any kind of private keys. There's a couple of different other options that you can use when you are connecting up your Ledger Nano S to my Ether wallet. That is you can send offline. So you can see in here that it will allow you to access your wallet using your Ledger wallet in this section. And you can also go through and view your wallet information connecting through using your Ledger wallet. Now, like I said, that was a very brief overview of how you go through and connect your Ledger Nano S with my Ether wallet. I hope that you found this useful today. And if you did, then please give me a like. If you have any questions with regards to my Ether wallet and Ledger Nano S, please feel free to put them in the comments below. And if you want to see more tips, reviews and tutorials, then please hit subscribe. Thanks and I'll see you soon.